Hello everybody, it's Caitlin here. Today I am making something citrus, part of my A Little Something collection. And today's citrus scent will be um, lemon. So that's what we're going with today. And I have my hot lye solution here. And I'm going to be adding it to my hard oils and butters. And I melted these down for a minute in the microwave just to get them started. I'm checking my lye solution to make sure that there's no particles floating around in there and it looks perfect. So let's get going. All right. Then this usually takes about five minutes to completely melt down. And if you haven't noticed, I have a new table. Um, I got it from another soaper on Facebook, Mar Facebook Marketplace. Uh, and I drove it out an hour and 40 minutes to get it because it was a pretty good deal. And I also got a curing rack, which is a baking rack with 12 baking sheets. So it was a really good deal. I couldn't pass it up and I needed somewhere more organized to keep my soaps. So hopefully you like the new tabletop and I got a new light directly above. So I have a light on my left, a light on my right, and one directly above me. So hopefully that gives a good amount of light for you guys to see everything good. All right, I'm gonna finish melting these down and then I will show you the colorant and add the fragrance and all that fun stuff. In my soft oils, I am going to be adding my fragrance. And this is Lemon Drop Mica. So I'm gonna add the fragrance and the mica straight to these oils here. Okay, now this, let me check to make sure it's all melted down. There are a couple little chunks of shea butter, I think. So let's see, they're melted down and it looks like, I think I saw maybe a little piece, but no big deal, I'll just blend it all in. So I'm gonna just throw the stick blender right in these oils here. I don't know why I'm talking like that today. Some days I talk weird when I'm making soap. It's like I've never made soap before and I'm just awkward. All right, let's add these into here. Get it all scraped out. Make sure I don't leave any good oils behind. That would be bad. It smells really good. Overall, the reviews on this fragrance were good. So I figured I'd give it a try. And then two days after I ordered it, it went on sale. So that's, that's fun <laughs> all the time. All right. Here we go. Now this does morph. And I could stick blend this until it's a thick trace because that's all, it's just gonna be yellow. thickening up quite nicely. It's like a fairly thick pudding consistency. 
So let's see what this angle does as far as the pour. It's crazy to me the amount of uh, morphing that certain colors do. Like I made a mint soap a couple days ago and that turned to that pea green and then it turned lime green once it was done. All right, so I think I'm just gonna kind of do what I did with my mint soap and just swirl it to even out the top. Now I'm spraying it with some alcohol to try to prevent soda ash. If there is soda ash, it's no big deal. I really don't mind too much. Now let's bring this up to you guys. So there it is. And hopefully when we come back, this is not orange. Let's hope that it is yellow. I'll see you for the cut. Yep. Mickey's at his fun house. 